In this video, I'm going to show you five mind-blowing effects that you want to use for your next project. I use this all the time in Photoshop, so you know the vibe. Open your Photoshop, let's go. So in this video, the first effect I'm going to do is the block glass effect, which is actually easy. The first thing I'm going to do is to duplicate this layer, which I'm going to come over here, then duplicate your layer, then click OK. Then come over to your rectangle tool to draw a little bit of rectangle so you're just going to draw it and this is actually perfect just drag this piece to have a little bit of curve over here again okay, that's good once you have this shape right here come over to this your layer down here then duplicate the layer which is command j then drag this up here which is good then next thing i'm going to do is to clip the layer to the rectangle clip so i'm just going to create clipping marks once you do this, this perfect, then convert this to smart objects. On this same layer, come over to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Seven is actually perfect for me. You don't want to do too much. Then click OK. Once you've done that, come over to filter again. Then come over to noise and add a little bit of noise. So I'm just going to reduce this just a little bit. Eleven is perfect for me and I'm going to click OK. So the next thing you're going to do is come over to filter gallery. Once you have a filter gallery, gallery, come over to distort and come over to glass. Once you see this glass, click on it and you can copy my settings or go according to how your own image is. So I'm just going to take this over to like 11 and scale this up a little bit, which is perfect for me. And I'm going to click OK. So you are going to have this. Then to bring the effect out very well, just come over to this rectangle shape and double click this rectangle layer then come over to drop shadow then you can see that the shadow is coming out a little bit here so all you have to do is just screenshot my settings and the next thing is come to internal glue make sure this is white not black and you can also copy my settings and i'm going to click ok you can actually drag this anywhere you want in your image so this is what we call the block glass effect you can use it anywhere so the next effect we are going to is film allusion and here's how to do it create a new layer which is command j then once you have that come over to image then come over to adjustments to threshold once you have your threshold the trick to it is just find where you want it to glow that's what the white is going to do so i'm just going to drag this a little bit and this is perfect the chairs are white and the shirt is white which is actually good and i'm just going to click on ok come over to filter blow and gaussian blow make sure your gaussian blow is 45 or you can go above according to your own picture once you have this change your blending mode to screen and you can see the glue appearing right here but this is a little bit too much so i'm just going to reduce it down then this is perfect for me then to have that film vibe come over to this and come over to solid color then once you have the solid color take this to red you can actually choose any color but red is mostly used for the kind of effect i'm doing then click ok once you have this come over here then create a clipping max which is actually perfect then come to your blending mode and click on soft lights here's your effect but if it's too much you can come over to your fill and reduce it a little bit so this is the before and here's the after so the first thing you want to do is duplicate this layer which is command j then select subjects so you're just going to select the subject so once photoshop has selected the subject what i'm going to do is just come back to this place then max this then i'm going to write my text right now so once you have your text i'm just going to um, position it to where i want it to be positioned so once you click on your text i'm just going to duplicate it twice so command j then I'm just going to drag one of the text underneath the subject, which I'm going to have here, which is very easy. So once you're done with that, come over to your school girl on top, that's the top layer, then reduce the fill to zero. So once you've done that, come over to your text again here, your blending option, just come over to this place, then come over to your stroke and just click on it. So what you can do is to screenshot my settings and you get exactly the same thing. And I'm going to click OK and move it anywhere around if I want that's how to get this effect on any picture you want to do and let's move to the next effect so this next effect we're going to put in this text on this police stand which is actually very easy i've created my text layer here that's what you're going to do so what you're going to be doing is to drag this over here and let's not forget to change this to black so the effect comes out very well 
so i'm just going to change it to black which is easy then come back to this place and just drag this over here so you want to resize this according to what you want so once you have your text right here it's just to change the perspective and all so i'm just come come over to the text layer here and change it to and convert it to smart objects once i'm done with that i'm just going to press command c and double click to bring out this option and choose perspective once you have that then you can play around with it and just adjust it to um, the police stand so i'm just going to drag this here and also drag this here a little bit once you are done with this just change it with the perspective you can come over to the text over here then change the blending mode to dissolve why you are doing this is to have that effect that it's actually written on the police stand which i actually love then you can come over to the fill and reduce it a little bit now that's too much so like 99 is actually okay to have that effect of the white police stand like it's written on it and here you have it here's your text effect on the police stand and here is the last effect for today which is actually called the motion part blow so here's how to do this effect which is actually very easy come over to don't forget to duplicate your layer it is very important to duplicate your layer then come over to um your select subject then all you have to do is select the subject which photoshop will do right then once you are done selecting your subject come over to um command j to duplicate it with it being selected so you're just going to do that twice and what you are going to do next is come to filter then blow gallery then come over to part blow so you're just going to unclick this center blow so that you can have flexibility to change the blow area you want so i'm just going to drag this um to this place so i'm just going to take it backward because of the direction of the subject and i'm just going to drag this up so you can see the effect is working right then i'm just going to change this just just play around with it and see what you like that's all you need to do so once you're done playing with it just play around with the effect i love it this way this is actually what i want you can just play around with this from each joint and you're going to get a perfect result so this is the final result of the motion part blow and what you have to do is just to click ok it's going to take a little bit of time to load that's it and don't forget to play around that's the best way to be creative share the video to your friends thank you subscribe see you all in my next thank you for checking my camera see you all in my next video subscribe